saying that forget America, white America is an irredeemably racist country, and that the only course for the Negroes is to bring about a final, violent, apocalyptic confrontation of black and white. They're brutalizing people. They're brutalizing people, man. Motherfucker, I'll kill your ass. I'll kill your ass, nigga. Yeah. Hey, they gonna get this work, dog. They finna get this work. It's continuing through the weekend after a nasty clash between activists and police in Detroit. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Amira David. And I'm Brian Abel, Simon Shaket, live downtown for us with the fallout of dozens of arrests and both sides' version of events. Simon. Brian, Amira, Detroit police say those activists blocking traffic along Woodward were not part of a peaceful protest. And furthermore, they say they will not allow the city's streets to be taken over. Let's take this moment to talk and let's see where we can go. Detroit will breathe uh, organizer Tristan Taylor speaking to a group of supporters at Michigan Avenue and 3rd in reference to this video shared countless times on a public Facebook page. It shows the scene at Woodward and John R. on Saturday night. We don't see no riots here. Police say they notified protesters more than a dozen times to stop blocking traffic on Woodward Avenue with their own barricades along with some taken from construction zones. They say protesters also had no permit for this demonstration. They eventually used tear gas and made more than 40 arrests, more than half of which involved people from outside the city. What was clear was the sound of batons beating on shields. That was clear. Tough on crime policies of presidents in the past have also not been successful at making our communities safer. And Oper Operation Legend is an escalation of that. Protesters from the group Detroit Will Breathe say they oppose more federal agents being sent to cities like Detroit under Operation Legend, a national effort to address spikes in violent crime across the U.S. In addition to gathering over the weekend, this group plans a much larger meeting Monday at 6 p.m. at Clark Park. Will you be at Clark Park tomorrow? Uh, I don't know. I don't even know if I was even going to come here today. Now, Chief Craig will be speaking publicly tomorrow in reference to that video, what's taken place and the upcoming rally. We'll bring you all the latest as it happens. Reporting live, Simon Shaykat, 7 Action News. Thank you.
like button and subscribe. I need you to hit the like button so they can register on YouTube. When it comes to these smear campaigns, we need black media. We need strong black media.